people. Well, welcome everybody to high school football here on PrepSpin.com. It is bowl time here at Lexington Catholic. Henry Clay taking on Fern Creek tonight. It's a tale of uh, two different teams from week one. Fern Creek, of course, uh, last week absolutely decimating their opponent. Uh, I believe the final score was 52 to nothing. And then Henry Clay looking to bounce back against uh, Johnson Central falling 60 to 21. Um, we have experienced a little bit of a weather delay here today, so uh, we are definitely not getting started at that six o'clock time like we were uh, shooting for, um, but we are just a few minutes out from the beginning of tonight's bowl games. Don't forget game number two this evening will be Lexington Catholic taking on Pulaski. So we are glad you are here. We are excited for some high school football action pending weather sticks around we do, we we don't want any more rain but uh we will cross that bridge when we get to it fans are filing in here at lexington catholic high school and we are getting ready for high school football once again welcome in my name is aaron rose i'll be calling tonight's game between henry clay and fern creek we got a whole lot more coming up here tonight. Of course, Henry Clay and Fern Creek kicking off the first of two games. Lexington Catholic in game number two. If you want to come out and watch the ball game, you've got plenty of time to come out. We got a lot going on here this evening. So stick around, more coming up here on Prep Spin.
back here on prep spin we are getting set for high school football action the tigers of fern creek taking on the henry clay blue devils here at lexington catholic here this evening we are getting set for action and here in just a second we are heading up for the coin toss and we will be ready to go so the weather uh is hanging on for us so that's a that's a big plus there so we will be keeping an eye on that as the evening moves along here at lexington catholic high school once again my name's aaron rose and we are getting set for friday night football action teams getting set here getting ready for the coin toss All right, there we go. Just adjusting everything. Trying to eliminate background noise here at the prep spin trailer. We are inside the trailer calling tonight's action. We got cameras located all over Lexington Catholic for tonight's game. So we are getting set for the kickoff. And we haven't had the coin toss yet, but once we get that going, we will be bringing you the action here at Lexington Catholic High School. All right, we are getting lined up for the kickoff here at Lexington Catholic. Fern Creek lining up to kick off. All right, lined up for Fern Creek. The kicker, Andrew Beck, Beck with the kickoff. And that's going to drop in right around the 12-yard line. Henry Clay moving up and down. Number 21, Kaysen Parks, able to bring that one to near the 40-yard line. So a good kickoff return to start for Henry Clay. That's going to be marked at about the 38. Taking the snaps, number seven, Malcolm Paul. He's in shotgun formation, no backs. Now right up the middle, caught and brought down, number 44. That was Barentine on the reception, and that's going to bring it right around to the 48-yard line. So that's going to be good for a first down as the chains are moving. Paul. One running back with him. Paul tries to bring it up the middle. Caught, nope, taken down. And that's an incomplete pass. Second and 10. Didn't have possession. That one knocked out of his hands. That was Bailey trying to make that grab, but no, to no avail. So 
So Paul, again running out of the shotgun. Paul looking for the pass. Now he's going to hang on to it and take it down. And that one's going to be for a loss of two yards on the tackle there. Number 17, Dalen Hill, a senior for Fern Creek. So that's going to bring it to third and about 13, or third and 12 now. Oh, you good. Paul in the shotgun formation again. And we got some movement. And that's going to be a false start. They're, they're taking him back five here. Didn't catch who it was on, but that's a false start. That brings him back five. That's going to put him at third and 17. 10.52 remaining here in the first quarter of action here from Lexington Catholic High School. Back to pass. Got him just about 20 yards up there. And that's uh, Walton Cole taking that and bringing it down. That's a first down for the Blue Devils. A nice pass right up the middle. And that got, gets them out of a third and long situation. So Paul now looking to see if he can make ha magic happen again. He's running it to the outside, staves off one tackle, but taken down by a few of the Tigers. Hannon, or I'm sorry, check that. That was uh, Holden Brandy, hanging on. Good, <laughs> That's Holden hanging on, initiating the first tackle there to be followed up. So that's going to bring back a few yards there. It's going to take it down to second and 14, and the clock is running here in the first quarter of action. Now Paul looking to give it up the middle. He's got some running room. Moving it forward and taken down. Taken down, that was number two, Landon Edwards on the tackle. And that was Bailey. Bailey moving it up there for the Blue Devils. And they are nearing the red zone. So a couple good plays there to push the ball along here in this first quarter. Paul working out of the shotgun. Bailey moving out. Paul moves it up. He was trying to get it up to the number 11. Cole Kemper couldn't hang on to it, and that's going to be an incomplete pass. Second and 10. And looking for another opportunity. It's the Blue Devils here. That one's just off of his fingertips. Fern Creek going to have to hold strong here. A crucial first drive for both sides. Bailey a movement. Now ball handed up to Bailey. Bailey met at the line by quite a few Fern Creek Tigers and taken down. And that's going to put it up to third and nine there. Now 
Now, Paul, wind up. Shotgun formation. Paul looking for the end zone. Up and over the hands of Parks in that one. Just misses, so that's going to be fourth and nine. And it looks like we got the kicking team coming on, so looking for the first points here are the Blue Devils. Boucher lining up. The kick up and that one's going to be good. So Henry Clay on the board against Fern Creek with a good drive there, but not able to convert on the touchdown. They do settle for three and Fern Creek will get the first opportunity on offense. And we'll see how they can answer. So we got more coming up here on Prep Spin. Prepspin.com, high school football action. The kickoff coming from Henry Clay. They strike first with a field goal. And here we go. This one going to bounce in the end zone. Touchback. And Fern Creek will be taking over. This one's starting on the 20 yard line. We'll see what Fern Creek can counteract with after the field goal from Henry Clay. So Trainer will be taking the snaps for Fern Creek. There's a handoff, pushing that up to Stoner. He's got some moves. He's breaking tackles. He's running. He's at the 50-yard line, and he's taken down. What a run there from Xavier Stoner. Taken down and starting at the 48. And Fern Creek looking to strike early as well. Trainer in. That snap high, but another handoff moving it up is Fuller. Fuller taken down by a few Blue Devils. And that ball's going to be marked at the 45-yard line. So three-yard gain. Three-yard gain for the Tigers. Two backs with Trainer. Trainer looking to pass. 
Uh, he's going to try to make some moves, and he's taken down. Number 29, that's Zachariah Dabney for the Blue Devils. Loss of a few yards there. That's going to bring back a third and long situation. Third and 11. First third and 11 situation for the Tigers this contest. Oh, the hand off the fumble and covered up. Number 77 for the Tigers, but that brings a fourth and long situation. They're going to have to punt. And Henry Clay with a successful stand here on their first drive on defense. There's a snap a little low, almost blocked. That punt's going to drop, and it's going to roll out of bounds at about the 20, about the 24-yard line there. So Henry Clay looking to expand the lead here on Prep Spin. Don't forget we have more high school football action on the way this evening. Make sure you stick around for game two of our doubleheader. So in now at quarterback, number 10, Blake Van Horn. Van Horn looking to make some moves. He gets tied up with one of his other players, and he just barely makes it back out to the line of scrimmage. So second and 10 now, and that clock is running. Van Horn working out of the shotgun as well. He's got Bailey with him. The snap, the handoff, Bailey trying to move up the middle, but met by a few Tigers. On the tackle, number 33, that was Joel Hatchett. We're at third and nine. So not a lot of movement so far this drive for Henry Clay. The Blue Devils looking to replicate. And just met Blake Van Horn just taken down. And Fern Creek standing up on defense here with an answer of their own. Blue Devil's going to have to punt this one away. I mean... Blue Devils back to punt. Here's a snap. Good looking snap. The kick. And that was, oh, down he goes. And he, he didn't go all the way down, but a little bit of a return there for uh, Fern Creek. That was a good punt. That punt. 
Uh, going just about about 54 yards or so. So nice punt there from Henry Clay. But opportunity arises here for Fern Creek. 2.44 left in the first quarter of action. Here's the snap. Just a touch high. The handoff, though. Making a run for it and taken out of bounds right around the 20-yard line. Number four, Xavier Stoner again with another big run for Fern Creek. Chains moving here, of course. This is a first down. And just inside the 20, so red zone action here for Fern Creek. Trainer in the shotgun. Snap just a little bit high. He's going to hang on to it, get a couple of yards. As he's taken down at about the 17 there. I uh, check that about the 16. Second and seven now for the Tigers. Trainer, again, that snap just a little bit high. Trainer trying to make some moves, but he's taken down. Gets a couple more yards out of it. Third and five now. 130 remaining here in the first quarter of action here, Lexington Catholic. Now the snap again high. The handoff trying to find some room, but met by a line of Blue Devils. So fourth down and looks like Fern Creek might be going for it here. Trainer getting his instructions. Fuller back with Trainer. Trainer looking for the end zone, and that's too far, too high. And that'll be a turnover on downs, and Henry Clay will take over. So Henry Clay able to stand up within the red zone and take a scoring opportunity away from Fern Creek. Van Horn back out for the Blue Devils. And we have a timeout on the field. We'll take a, a short timeout ourselves. You are watching high school football here on Prep Spin.
So teams line back up here. Van Horn with the snaps, throws that one wide out. And that was the number 21, that was Kaysen Parks. Kaysen gets a couple of yards on the play, and that's going to do it for the first quarter of action. Henry Clay leading Fern Creek 3 to nothing. More high school football action on the way here on Prep Spin. Back on prep spin, the snap. There's a pass and a second opportunity. He goes through three different hands. One of those being the hands of a, of a Fern Creek defender. That was David King. Almost with the interception there. But Van Horn incomplete on that pass. So Henry Clay... Looking to expand on the field goal in the first quarter. To no avail, though. Van Horn giving the marching orders. And the shotgun with Bailey with him. Van Horn swings it out. There's a catch. There's a run. Making some moves there is Parks. Parks coming up the sideline. Parks to the 30. To the 20. 10. And he's going to take it to the house. Touchdown. Henry Clay. So a big pass and a big run. And the Blue Devils strike once again. So again, the Blue Devils with a big run and a big score there. Extra point attempt coming up a shite. The kick up and good. And Henry Clay takes it to the house. 10 to nothing, your score here on prep spin 1140 remaining here in this second quarter of action we'll be back with more on prep spin
the kickoff coming and Henry Clay enjoying this 10 to nothing lead here's the kick that one into the end zone and touchback that will be so Fern Creek looking for an answer here Eleven forty remaining in the second quarter here on Prep Spin. Don't forget Pulaski County, Lexington Catholic coming up later tonight. All right, so lined up. And the handoff, the run. Taken down there on the run was that was number. I'm sorry, I'm not catching that. I believe that was number 28. No, 23. But on the run, nevertheless, Burn Creek. With a, for another first down opportunity, here's Trainer to take the snap. Snap high again. Here's another handoff. That's number 23. Moving up, that 23 was Elijah Robertson. Robertson gaining a few more yards there. Second and 10. Or I'm sorry, second and four. My, my apologies. Second and four, 1041. The clock is running in Fern Creek. Fern Creek looking to answer here against Henry Clay. The snap, the handoff, the run. Moving up the side, another first down opportunity and taking it down. That was Frega. Frega with a nice run there for Fern Creek. So Fern Creek is still making some moves, just haven't struck yet. 10 10, and the clock is running here in the second quarter at Lexington Catholic. Lined up here at the 41 yard line. Now the snap, the toss, trying to cut to the outside, met by a few of the Henry Clay defenders there, taking down, the, taking them down on tackle was Kyan Miller and Travis Haskins. So both of those guys able to. Make the tackle here. This is the Bluegrass Bowl here at Lexington. One of the games of the Bluegrass Bowl here at Lexington Catholic. Thank you all for tuning in. We appreciate every single one of you to enjoy these two great teams playing here this evening. And there's... The snap over the head of Trainer. Trainer's going to slide on it. And that goes all the way back. Looks like to about the 47 yard line. Back to the 47, maybe. No, it's a 48. So a large, large loss. Third and long situation for the Tigers. Snaps have been a little, a little bit high for Trainer here this evening, and that one just he couldn't get a hold of it. Trainer has Fuller back with them. Here's the snap. Trainer looking the pass, 
Looking for a bomb. Caught. And a fumble. And a fumble. Ball picked up by Henry Clay. Moving back the other way. And taking it out of bounds. And Henry Clay with the fumble recovery. On that reception. On that reception was Frega. Frega was moving all the way. And that ball knocked out of his hands. And Henry Clay with a big fumble recovery. And they're going to get this one at about the 31-yard line. And we got a timeout on the field. We'll take a short timeout here, too. You're watching High School Football here on Prep Spin. Well, it looks like we might have had a flag on the play. From the previous play. And, and I, I did not catch the call there, but it looks like that Fern Creek will have another opportunity. So they will have another opportunity, it looks like. It's going to be back at third and 21. So the tables have turned there. Um, as I'm going to try to get verification on what that call was, but um, it looks like that Fern Creek has a shot at redemption here.
So it will be third down and 21. And Fern Creek again with an opportunity here to maybe redeem themselves after that fumble. So the team's lining up at the 48 yard line. Trainer back in the shotgun. He's got Fuller with him. Now the handoff. And off number 23, taken down, and his helmet comes off again. That was Elijah Robertson with the carry there. Gains quite a few yards, but that's still going to put him in a fourth down situation. And that's going to be fourth down, and that's going to put him at the 49-yard line. And it looks like the punting team will come on for Fern Creek, so a chance to maybe pin him deep. Hunter set back to receive a nice snap there. That kick going to go down to right around the two-yard line, and he's able to pin him in. A very nice kick there from the Tigers. That was Joshua Smith with the punt there for Fern Creek. Nicely done. So again, right around the two yard line and Henry Clay has their work cut out for him. 98 yards, 704 remaining here in the second quarter of action from Lexington Catholic High School. We thank you for tuning in here to prepspin.com. We still got more high school football action on the way this evening. Here's the snap. Getting a few yards was Bailey. And Bailey down to about the seven yard line. Making that a little less, little less pressure there. He got about five yards on that run. Van Horn out of the shotgun. Bailey with him. Here's Van Horn. Van Horn looking to hand off to Bailey. Bailey trying to get a few more yards. Takes it down to about the nine yard line or so. Maybe the 10 yard line. And that will bring it to third and a few yards here. Third and three. So Henry Clay needs a first down if they don't want to give good field position to Fern Creek here. Blake Van Horn with a touchdown earlier this evening. Touchdown pass. Van Horn moves it up. Nice pass. Nice catch. That's Barenton bringing down that pass, and it's good for a first down for the Blue Devils. Ball at the 21-yard line, and this clock is moving. Van Horn. Set up and ready to go. Feeling good after that pass.
505, here's the snap to Van Horn. Van Horn slides it out, looking for the pass. That one goes out of bounds as it bounces off the hands of the receiver there. I believe he was looking for Bailey, and Bailey not able to get his hands on at 459 as the clock stops after that incomplete pass. So Van Horn here looking to redeem himself. Got three receivers on one and one on the other. Van Horn trying to escape, trying to move out of the way, cutting some tackles there, and he's taken down hard. Taken down number 27. Now it's Quentin English on the tackle for the Tigers. The third and nine after that one. Still nine yards to go, 425 remaining on the clock here in the second quarter. Blue Devils looking for an answer. Long pass up the middle, nobody home. And the Blue Devils forced to punt. And another opportunity for Fern Creek to get on the board here this evening. 4-10, they're going to have to make use of their timeouts and make use of the, their position on the field. The Blue Devils lined up for the kick here. Here's the setup, the kick. And Fern Creek looking to retrieve. Here come the Tigers trying to make a move up. Number 18 for the Tigers. That's, that's Frega. Frega taken down just before the 50-yard line. So good field position for Fern Creek. So first and 10 starting here at the 47 yard line for the Tigers. Now the handoff, no, he held on to it and he's just gonna get just a couple yards out of that one. Paul on, oh, I'm sorry. That was trainer on the run there. Second and eight with 337 running here on the clock. Trainer getting his instructions. Now lined up at the 49. Trainer's got Stoner and Fuller with him. Snaps Trainer. Hands it off. There's Stoner, Stoner. Down he goes and a little bit of a late tackle there, but no flags. We'll be throwing there. That was Megan on the tackle. Stoner losing his footing there, so that's gonna bring him to a third and sixth situation. 245 remaining on the clock.
Lined up at the 49. The snap. Trying to move to the outside of the strainer. Looking for the pass. Pass nobody home. And the clock will stop with 217. It was either Robertson or uh, Fuller that was the intended receiver, but nonetheless, they lost their footing on that, and that ball drops into incomplete land. On the 49, it looks like we're lined up to punt once again, though. Smith lined up to kick. Here's the punt by Smith, that one. Fair catch, and that's going to be caught right around the 10-yard line. So, with 2.11 left, Henry Clay gets one more shot before the half. You're watching high school football here on Prep Spin. The snap and met right up the middle was Bailey, and Bailey, nowhere to go. So Fern Creek standing up on that very first play. Henry Clay getting their instructions. And teams. Oh, wait a second. It was a, it was a turnover. I'm so sorry. Turned over there and I missed it. So here's an opportunity for Fern Creek. And a handoff right up the middle. That was Stoner. Stoner taken down. So, Fern Creek now with an opportunity. So, I missed, I apparently missed the fumble there. My camera angle didn't catch that too well. So, needless to say, Fern Creek with a huge opportunity with the clock running. Second and eight. Second and four. So they are within the red zone here. 125 remaining on the clock. Snap to trainer. Trainer handing it off. Stoner trying to move in. Stands one up and touchdown. Fern Creek. So Fern Creek strikes with a minute 13 left. In the second quarter. So a big opportunity by the Tigers. And they're going to look to chip it within three here. Nice run there from Stoner. As he was able to stand up. So Beck going in for the extra point for... The Tigers snap a little low. The kick up and through, and Fern Creek brings it within three. So Henry Clay, maybe with one more chance before the half, but we'll find out. You got more football action coming up here on Prep Spin.
So Fern Creek brings it within three against Henry Clay. Here's the kickoff, and that's a short kickoff. That's going to drop in right around the 22. Now moving up. All right, the Blue Devils, they're going to have a run here and taken down right near the 40-yard line. And that was number 23. That was Braden Bell with a nice return there for the Blue Devils. So the Blue Devils now within the 50-yard line positioning could be a good opportunity here for him to maybe chip on another field goal or maybe go for that touchdown. So Van Horn lined up now. The snap to Van Horn. Van Horn being met, blitzed. Avoids three, four tackles. Now moving up, and he gets it down to about the 39-yard line. So a good run there made something out of nothing with 51 seconds. Will Henry Clay call timeout here? I think they're going to try to keep playing it. 40 seconds remaining. The clock ticks second and five. Van Horn lined up for the Blue Devils. The snap. Looking for the pass, they're going for the end zone. And deflected and taken down. Nice defensive play from the Tigers there. So the clock stops third and five. With 29 seconds remaining in the half. So Henry Clay is going to call a timeout. And so will we. We got more high school football action. Henry Clay up over Fern Creek, 10-7. The snap to Van Horn. We're back here on Prep Spin. Van Horn looking for the end zone. The pass off of the hands of Parks. With 24 seconds remaining on the clock here in the first half. Had Parks downfield. He just couldn't pull it in. And Henry Clay looking to kind of expand that momentum going into the locker room for the half. So far, proving not to be successful, but we do have a flag. That's going to be a false start on Henry Clay, so they're going to be sent back another five yards. So a third and ten situation turns into third and fifteen. So Van Horn. Has three wideouts near side, one on the far. Van Horn met by a line. A line of Tigers there on the tackle. Number 23, Elijah Robertson, as well as number 58, that was Brown. So Zontez Brown. So with five seconds left, they're going to let this one run, and Henry Clay will head into the locker room with a 10-7 lead over Fern Creek here at Lexington Catholic. We are 
here at the Bluegrass Bowl. Don't forget we have more great high school action on the way. We got a whole nother half here. And, <coughs> and then we have Lexington Catholic taking on Pulaski. Stay tuned. We'll be back with the second half of action here on Prep Spin.
All right, we are back here on PrepSpin.com. We are getting ready for the second half of action here between Henry Clay and Fern Creek. Henry Clay struck early with a field goal as they did have a good drive, but unfortunately they weren't able to convert within the red zone and then, well, touchdown that is. And then uh, later on in the uh, first half, a uh, strike from Lake Van Horn able to give the Blue Devils a uh, 10 to nothing lead. And then later on in the half, scoring wise, Fern Creek was able to pick up a fumble, get within the 10 yard line and then Stoner, that's Xavier Stoner. He, I've been calling his name a lot tonight. Xavier Stoner take it, takes it in for the touchdown. So not a lot going on first half scoring wise. Um, we'll see if the second half is any different. I am now joined here for the second half by Coach Mike Me and Mike, how are you doing, sir? Fantastic. I was home uh, watching you on on Prep Spin on the internet and enjoyed every bit of it. You're doing a great job, but I felt like uh, I'd come here a little bit early. I didn't know if we were going to have any more <laughs> rain, and I right. figured, well, what the heck? I'll step in and and have some fun with you. Now, Coach, did you know? Did you know this is my first game back in like five years? Right. That's what you said. <laughs> and, and you're doing a pretty good job, but uh, you know what? High school football doesn't change that much. Uh, no, you're, it you're a natural, Aaron, and I appreciate the, having the opportunity of William and you letting me sit in here. Well, I appreciate you coming in. This is going to be a fun, fun second half. Both of these teams have a good tenacity about them. Uh, Fern Creek, especially with uh, Xavier Stoner, he he can run. Uh, he's gotten a, a quite a few uh, good breaks. Um, Blake Van Horn on quarterback for uh, Henry Clay. He's really found the good opportunities, but he's also going up against a, a blitzing defensive line from Fern Creek. Well, Fern Creek uh, in the past, now I'm not very familiar with them this year, so, but I, you know, I'm just going to watch them and see what I see and maybe help out a little bit trying to figure out what they're doing defensively and offensively, et cetera. But in the past, they've always been strong defensively. Right. And uh, I think that maybe this is a, a good year for them as far as uh, stepping up. Now, this game here is going to be a good test for them. Yeah. Now, they started the year uh, routing their opponent. I, I got to pull up, pull the game back up, but 56 to nothing uh, was their first game. And then Henry Clay had, had a rough go at it for the very first, uh, very first game. Um, I believe they were up against Johnson Central. And uh, – you know, it was it was a hard go, but to me tonight, the, I'm, I feel like Henry Clay is playing with a little bit more confidence. Uh, you know, when they get those open opportunities, they're they're able to to uh, avoid some defenders and and really get the yards. Well, I have a lot of respect for the coach over here. Demetrius Gay has been a he's been a fixture in this town, and honestly, a a really good athlete in his time, and and he'll be a very good coach. So I think that. That uh, you're right. I think it's going to be a heck of a matchup, and I think they'll build confidence as they go along. You know, when you have a, a coach like Sam Simpson, who you know I know personally, a great man. Um, they've had him for years and years over there. A legend. <laughs> well, yeah, he's a legend. I think he's. I think he started there in about. I'm guessing about 1991. Wow. And he was there until about two years ago, and you know he he worked with Marty Joyce, a friend of mine, also. But I think that Demetrius is rebuilding that program to the prominence it used to be. I, I feel like I feel like I'm seeing that too. I, I think this is a, a really a really good Henry Clay team, and, and for, you know, obviously Fern Creek. You know they are very strong too. This is a good test, very good test early uh, for both of these squads. And not only that, I mean you, you normally don't have you, you normally don't have a a matchup of this prominence a lot, you know, early on in the season. No, you don't. And but I like this. You know, it's crazy this year, Aaron, with these teams canceling because of COVID protocol right. and so on. You and you have and, and sometimes well like look at in that second game, Lexington Catholic, what they had and and uh who, who yeah. The, it, like two days preparation, I think, right. for this game. So it's it's crazy, but again, you know, you don't know. You you have to play games. These guys want to play football. Right, they do. They do, and uh, you know, and unfortunately, we're just in in a situation right now where where uh, the, these protocols are, you know, they're they're hurting a lot of teams, and it's just it's just uh, not a fun time, if you will. 
no. for for you know for all these all these students having to go through that and coaches and yeah. and all that faculty. Well, I think the football parts only it's it's the players don't care. They right. just want to get between they the just lines. Play. They want to play football. Right. The coaches go berserk. You know, coaches meetings. Oh, they work all week on a certain offense defense. It's like you know you work on Johnson Central for a week. Right. And Johnson Central runs that that option offense. And then all of a sudden, oh, they can't play, so they bring in Breathitt County, and Breathitt County throws the ball over the field. So right. How do you prepare? You know, how do you make that change? Well, that's what's happening right now. Right. You you, you really can't prepare in two days. You know, it's it's going to be one of those things where you really just have to adjust on the fly. You do, but honestly, let's face it: the safety of the of the the program, as far as the kids, the parents, the players, the coaches. That, that's what really matters. And it so, does. Well, let's make it through this year. Let's go ahead and be safe and keep that that Delta virus out of out of the out of the school system. Right. Play some football and get what we can done. Right. You, you know, it it's just one of those things that you know it, it it brings a personal thought to my mind where where actually my wife is a school teacher herself and and you know first week of school you know it's just like oh there it is you know classes are. Are, are getting hit with it already so it's it's frustrating um and you know it, it just it stinks to see that you know all this is still going on but it's also nice to see that there's always some kind of some kind of normalcy coming back where we're seeing more more fans in the stands and stuff like that too it brings back a good high school football atmosphere and, I think. which is very important for the school as far you know it's like Football, soccer, volleyball, that's the first things that these kids get involved with at the beginning of the year. And I think it's really important for them to get a good experience, get involved, and start the school uh, year off correctly. Absolutely. Absolutely. So we're getting set for second half action. And it looks like, uh, let's see, our Fern Creek should be receiving here in the second half as Henry Clay received to start the game and it, and coach it's nice that the weather seems like it's holding off a little bit yeah they said it was going to be off and on for a couple hours but if i, I looked at the weather radar and it's totally clear once this stuff goes through that's uh, good we that's might good. get some sprinkles and stuff but hopefully it'll be okay <laughs> all right so we are getting set for the kickoff here in the second half fern creek looking for an answer Maybe if they can make something happen here on this very first drive. Let's see a good momentum shift for Fern Creek if, that, if that's were the case, but we'll find out. All right. Second half underway. Here we go. Here's the kick. Nope, just kidding. It fell off. <laughs> <laughs> Ball fell off. <laughs> the gust of wind came through. Let's try this again. <laughs> I don't, uh, I don't see much, much breeze out there, but um, there must be a little bit on the field. So. Yeah, it might be a little crosswind that just hit. All right, here we go. The kickoff and a deep kick. Yep, no chance on that one. No, no doubt about <laughs> that one. That's out of the end zone. And that was the senior. That was. I, I, I need help on the pronunciation here. The kicker number 28, Sergei. Right there. Zachariah. No, no. No, that one. Yeah. Sergei Bouchet. Bouchet. Thank you. Okay. So I, I've I've called him a couple different things. I want to get it right. <laughs> well, let's just say Sergei Bu. Uh, Chat. There you go. And if anybody out there knows and wants to correct that pronunciation, just uh, you can go to Twitter and tweet me at, at Coach Meehan, and we'll correct it. There we go. Thank you so much. All right. So lined up. Here we go. In the shotgun. That's trainer. Trainer looking to hand it off early. Moving up there. Stoner gets a, good, a few good yards out of that, cutting up to the left-hand side. Yeah, that was a really nice job. They run that loaded backfield with that wishbone or not with that uh, kind of a spread look, and uh, I like it. I like what they're doing. Be interesting to see if there's any adjustments by Henry Clay. I watched about a quarter, right? A little bit of the first quarter back at home before I came over. That's some big boys in there. I know that. <laughs> 
I, t I tell you this. The one thing that, that I've been watching all night is, is, and I think it's starting to calm down a little bit. It is. Trainer has been dealing with some high. There's a nice tackle there. Has been dealing with some high snaps most of the night. Uh, on that tackle number 29, that was Zachariah Dabney. So nice tackle there. Again, Stoner getting uh, getting some yards, and that's enough for a first. Yeah, he's got. He's really quick. They're running that the one wide out, um, a uh, spread, spread look. And, but yeah, with yeah. the full backfield back there, two backs on either side of the uh, shotgun quarterback. Both teams have been running running that shotgun pretty much the whole night. I haven't really seen anything anything under center. And I, I think that because of the speed that these teams are dealing with, I think that's, you know, kind of an ideal setup for them. Right. There's another high snap now looking for a wide out pass. Gets it in a few yards, taking down number 18. That was Frega. So nice run there by Frega after the catch. And he's going to get about five or six out of that one. Henry Clay's running, running a, what looks like a 3-4 defense. And if you look at it, you see the four, there are four linebackers. And that's good if you have the linebackers that can cover. The right. linebackers in the 3-4 have to be able to not only take the run, but able to cover backs out of the backfield and Absolutely. drop back in zones. And uh, that's pretty good coaching there because they were right in the zone area where they needed to be. So... Trainer getting the call here. Again, second and four. Clock running, 10 minutes left here in the third quarter. And the snap now, a handoff now moving up. There was number 19. That was Cameron Trice, and he's taken down by a wall of Blue Devil defenders there. Yeah, really nice job by the nose guard um, on the inside coming across and penetrating, making the tackle. They also brought the linebacker on that side, and he did a good job clogging it up. So third and four, an opportunity here to move the chains for Fern Creek. Henry Clay looking to have a first drive stop here of the half. It would be good to get a stop here, wouldn't it, Aaron? You know, it takes some pressure off those Blue Devils. That's right. the snap trainer hands off again stoner moves up and i think he got enough yes he did that's yeah. enough for a first down good power run uh they ran at that flanker offense there with the running back if you notice the flanker was facing inside you don't see that very often no but that way he can seal in case that running back has to bounce outside he can seal on the on the on the corner or the edge player you know the the thing about stoner the thing about stoner is he he's five foot six. He's a senior, five foot six. He's a small player, but he runs hard. He runs pe very powerful. You know, and I've, I've seen him take a few bounces off some hits and uh, throughout this game. And you know, he's he's an asset to this team. I like the way he runs, and sometimes oh, those smaller backs that make it tough. You know, because it's hard to look at him and see them over the line of scrimmage. I think we just had a sideline warning. Um, oh, did we? Yeah, I think it was against Fardens Creek, but we didn't see the uh, the lower end of the screen here. But I think it was a sideline warning. So we have a potential sideline warning. Which, is, which isn't a penalty. It, right, right. Until the second one. Right. Probably telling them, hey, calm it down. <laughs> That's right. Calm it down, guys. All right. There's the snap. And he, trainer's hanging on to that one himself. And he gets a few yards out of it, brings it over the 50-yard line, and got some pushing and shoving going on. A flag has come out. Yeah, I, I wouldn't be surprised if this is not against Henry Clay. Um, I think that the little push came from the Fern Creek player, but the intimidation factor started on the other side of the ball. Yeah, so I, we'll I see. do believe you're right, but we'll find out here. Yeah. Huh? Let's see. Personal file, oh. Fern Creek. Oh, wow. All right. They, I think they missed the, the start of that. Um, number 14 uh, kind of stood over the, the player and uh, yeah, gave him a little intimidation. But, you know, you can't retaliate. That's always what happens. They get to second person. So. Right. <laughs> so that, that dumps them back 15 yards there. So we're going to go second down with 8.05 remaining here in the third quarter. 
10 to 7 remains your score. Those uh, uniforms of Fern Creek, the Tigers, they're kind of like Bengals with the helmets, just yeah. a different color. Yeah, I, I kind of like it with the white stripes rather than the than the orange ones. I do too. You got Henry Clay wearing your the traditional gold helmets. Oh, Here's right. Trainer. Trainer moves it up to Stoner. Stoner trying to cut through. He gets around a few a few defensemen there and finally taken out. And now we got some extra curriculars going on on the Fern Creek sideline and things are starting to get chippy. Starting to do there. Number five for Fern Creek got in a little scuffle out there on the sideline. I don't know how they're going to call this one. This is insane. Well, a really good job, by the way, of Fern Creek pulling that backside tackle to mm -hmm. lead that play. Really nice job. Um, they do a great job of, of, of defending their own runners. They, and this one on Henry Clay, so... Do you have a name for number 50, maybe a size for Fern Creek? Number 50? 50, 50 5 -0. Yeah, 50. That is Victor Tran. He is a senior, uh, 5'11", 202 pounds. Well, I'm going to give it to Victor on that play. Victor Tran, nice job pulling, leading that play up. A lot of aggressive, good first step, good movement. So that becomes a first and 10. Sure. Automatically there. So what happened earlier kind of was offset. Yeah. They're trading penalties. I should be used to this because, you know, I, I used to call University of Kentucky hockey and uh, oh. nothing but penalties. Nothing but penalties. So I should be used to, to all the, the yeah, kerfuffles going so. on. Yeah, I would think so, yeah. <laughs> Here's Trainer. He gets it off the Stoner again. Stoner taking every little bit he can. The ball comes out, but I think that one's already blown dead. Yeah, it was way blown yeah. dead. Yeah. It's, it's, it's kind of hard to hear the whistles for where we're at here, but but nonetheless, we, we have nice HD screen in front of us. That's right. That was a good, <laughs> uh, good yardage gain on that play, too. Yeah, they're moving the ball. A, a Stoner just moving it well for, for Front Creek. Excellent. Keeping this drive alive. Has the quarterback run the ball very much in the first half? Uh, he ran a little bit, um, only only when he had to scramble away. But yeah. uh, oh, there were a couple plays uh, that were that were uh, set up for him, but not a lot. Um, but he can't move himself too. Okay, that wing back's facing the inside again. Yep. Let's see if they run to that side. Yep. Yep. There you go. Good pickup. And look at look at Stoner go. Stoner oh, still on his feet, and that's going to go in for a score. And Fern Creek up over Henry Clay after that big run by Stoner. How about that run after contact, huh? Amazing. Yards after yards after yards. And good, great balance. Great balance. They left the door open, and the flies are coming in, but I <laughs> bet there could be bats coming in here in a little bit when it gets dark, so. Yeah, that was a really good run, really good balance, good yardage, good, you know, good everything. That was a good drive. And if it wasn't for the penalty, backing them up, but then they got it back uh, on that personal foul stuff. You just, you, unsportsmanlike conduct, you got to stop that. I mean, especially early on in the half like this, because that, that just changed the momentum. It really did. Kick up, and it is good. So, Burn Creek. Up over Henry Clay, it is 14 to 10. And that's, I think you switch that on the scoreboard. But that's going to be enough for us to take a little break. You're watching high school football here on Prep Spin. This is where it all started, right here on this farm. We may have grown over the years, but we've never lost sight of what was important to us. We're continuing that tradition today, and we always will be for generations to come. High school sports are as American as apple pie. And going to a game or meet is a chance to see the stars of tomorrow shine today. But as anybody who's ever attended a high school sporting event in Kentucky knows, 
you can't have the stars without the stripes. High schools are currently looking for new officials in almost every sport. Who looks good in stripes? Anybody looking for a way to stay connected to a sport they love. If you like the idea of giving back to your community while earning a few extra bucks, chances are you'd look good in stripes too. We want to hear from you. We need to hear from you. No officials means no games. No stripes means no stars. And what kind of America would that be? Kentucky needs more high school officials. Go to highschoolofficials.com to sign up or learn more. Here on the Mingy Beef Jerky High School Game of the Week, and it's a doubleheader here on Prep Spin. So after the first score of the half, Fern Creek up over Henry Clay, 14 to 10, and after the return, Henry Clay is going to be starting right around the 42-yard line. Van Horn with the handoff, sending it up to Bailey. Bailey into a wall of Tigers. Nice little counter look there. It could have been an RPO. Got to see a little bit more of it to see. Uh, a lot of these teams are running the, the, the run pass option uh, stuff that the colleges run too. In fact, I think it started in high school. The RPO stuff started in high school football. But that was a nice play. Just a lot more prominent these days, isn't it? It is, and I think it's a good deal. I think the... The, what basically what it is, generally what it is, is a, it, there's a run and a pass called, and the quarterback makes the decision which one to choose, the run or the pass. So, Van Horn now. Here's the snap. Here's the handoff. Again, nice a few blocking. yards coming. And all the way down to the 42-yard line, and that was, that was Bailey again. So, Bailey... Getting some, uh, getting some yards here for Henry Clay. Yeah, that was a nice little play also. And, uh, again, it, I think it fooled uh, Fern Creek a little bit, but they had good blocking up there too. <clears throat> this is an interesting offensive situation for them. They want to take it back down and get that lead, you know, back again. Uh, big plays are coming. Now, earlier earlier we had uh, uh, Malcolm Paul. He was, running the, he was running the offense for the first drive and haven't seen him since, but – Nonetheless, you have two good options here at quarterback. And again, another nice gain there. Yeah, that's just power football, Aaron. They just they lined up and ran right at him. They had a lead back, uh, isolation on the linebacker, and just ran right up in there. That's that's pretty good philosophy if you can keep driving that ball down the field. Absolutely. And don't turn it over. Right. Right. Had had a few of those or a couple of those last uh, last half. Can't have turnovers. No, you can't. 435, the clock is running. The snap to Van Horn. Van Horn, he's in trouble, and he's taken down by a few Tigers. Number 50 was in there, number 33. So that was Joel Hatchett, number 33. Number 50 was Victor Tran. So those two leading the charge on defense for the Tigers and and uh, – that's not the first time I've called their name tonight. No, that was uh, that was a pretty good defense. They tried to throw the ball that time. They've been driving the ball pretty well. A uh, little play action would be good. Uh, now they're back with just that single back back here and trips to the left. Now passed out to the outside. Moving up. Nice mm -hmm. movement there, but taken down hard. Number 21. Number 21 was, uh, that was Parks. So Parks also responsible for that touchdown a little bit earlier for the uh, Blue Devils. Uh, he was the one that took it to the house uh, almost on the exact same play. Yeah, that was a nice little screen pass out there. A nice block on the outside to slow down that defender. You got to block the guy that's covering him, but you also need some help on the inside. And I think you got a little help on the inside with a couple of linemen. So that was a pretty good job. I like I like those screen passes. I think they should throw more of those screen passes when you use this type of offense. Now they're in trips to the other side, Aaron, with mm -hmm. the wide out on the other side. So they're really trying to spread the field here, get those They are. Back. So big, crucial fourth down play here, though. Oh. And that's going to be an offside. Yeah, a little over-aggressiveness by number five for Fern Creek. He jumped in there. That's a, that's a same job we talked about. Big, Tran, crucial fourth down play there. here, though. 
Yeah, nice. He got a little overzealous and <laughs> he oh, he went a little longer. There it was right there. And on the that's going to be an offside. Yeah, a little over. <laughs> nice job with the replay on this. Big props to uh, William Warfield who uh, was dealing with some camera issues first half, but he is rocking and rolling now. So that's, we are we are ready to go. That's why they call him the King of Streams. That's right. He can handle anything. <laughs> oh. And was that enough? Close. We will find out. This might have to be a measure. Hey, uh, oh, it is a turnover and downs, Fern Creek. Wow. Oh boy, I see uh, uh, that that uh, that sack really hurt him. That it, it lo lost all on that sack really hurt him. It did. So Fern Creek catches a break there, and they are they're going to be going back the other way. Man, that, again, it's just that that off or that defensive line just charging through. Yep, on that one big play, it made mm -hmm. a big difference. They had yardage to catch up. They got behind the sticks, and when you get behind the sticks, you have to change your your philosophy a little bit. And that they did. All right, so lined up here is Trainer. Trainer, he's going to get it right back up, back up to Stoner. And Stoner, even taking a few hits, still managing to get a few, maybe a couple more yards after those initial contacts. Well, you were right. He's a tough guy. Looks like he's cramping oh, a little he, bit. Oh, he is cramping. Yeah, that's that's no fun. No. Aaron, we're operating out of the uh, the uh, mobile studios of Prep Spin today. How do you like this thing? Oh, I love it. This is you know our very my for, very first time in here i know you got got a chance to do it last week but my very first time in here and and, and i love it you know we're watching we're watching this on a 77 inch screen <laughs> right and we're able to call it and, and the good thing is is that keeps us out of the press box and and it gives people more room to, to spread out a little bit because i mean honestly you know again we got to be careful about what's going on yeah, i think it's been an amazing thing and uh uh, William Warfield's done a great job of getting this thing set up, and you're right, it does keep us out of the press box. There's, it, the press boxes tend to be very crowded, very noisy, with a lot right. of stuff going on, a lot of people walking in and out, and uh, I think that's a really good point, Aaron. It's a, it's a safety thing, and uh, it's a it's really good deal, and this is a nice setup, again, you, but we're at the mercy of the cameramen, too, right. the camera people. There's a young lady uh, use it on one of the cameras, I've heard. Yeah, but the, the thing about it, though, is we might be at their mercy, but we got a skilled staff. Yeah. So that's the, that's the other other part of it. This crew that we have working with us is, is awesome. And, and, you know, we got new recruits coming on. So, you know, it's it, it's pretty awesome. You know, we're, you know, Prep Spin is expanding and, you know, we got multiple streams going on this evening. We got more high school action on the way tonight as – Catholic takes on Pulaski County as uh, game two for our uh, Bluegrass Bowl. So, bringing back Gary Ball is going to yes. be working. Uh, I'll be working with him the second half. A good friend of mine, and he, uh, as you know, he's recovering from a stroke, and uh, he's doing really well. He's he's a fighter and loves to do this, and he loves high school sports. I'm excited to see Gary. I, have, I haven't seen him in a few years myself, and and Gary's been, you know keep in touch with what happened with me health wise i've been keeping touch with him you know it's you know the the joys of social media you know it can be a really great tool it can be yes Here we go here's the, the handoff no keep. no no he kept it he kept it they faked us out <laughs> yeah. it didn't fool uh it didn't fool number 29 and number 14 14 went with the play from the back side and 29 came up to make help with the tackle. they were right on it so i'm sorry if i keep saying numbers but I yes. do not have a roster where yeah. I can see that. I'm hogging the roster. I'm that's so sorry. Fine. No, no, that's fine. <laughs> that writing is too small for me. Oh, okay, okay. <laughs> and we all, oh, you talk about staff. We have a gentleman here working with us on the sound. He looks like a DJ over there, you know? <laughs> that's, a, that's an awesome board he's working with, too. Oh, it is. All right, here's the trainer again. Trainer with the handoff. He gets it up to Fuller now. Fuller brings it up, and I think that's enough for a first. Yes, it is. Yeah, Very they're good. moving it. Move the chains. They're moving it. Nice run there from Fuller. 
Well, we're almost at the end of this this first uh, this third quarter. I didn't believe it yeah, went this been, quickly. It's been going very quick. 53 seconds remaining on the clock, and uh, let's see what Fern Creek has in store for the Blue Devils here. Trainer. Again, set up in that shotgun position. Trainer. Going to hand it off to Fuller. Fuller moving up the right side. He's taken down. I think he, yeah, he got there, I think. If not, very close. Yeah, I think he got it. And yeah, he did. Again, Aaron, they pulled that backside tackle. This time they're going to the right. They pulled the left tackle, and he is a big guy. Uh-huh. He can run, and he led right up through that hole. Nice job. Nice play call. I, I, I'm impressed with, with how they're doing that because, you know, to, to be honest, sometimes that could just be the, the simplest of things to do, and, and teams don't do it. But they, they're executing it like – it's just second nature. Yeah, they're going to let the clock run out here in the in the quarter. So, so that's going to do it for the third quarter. And Fern Creek, fourteen to ten over Henry Clay. Still a lot of time left. Twelve, 12 minutes. Still a lot of time for stuff to happen. But you are watching the Mingy Beef Jerky High School Game of the Week Doubleheader Edition on here on Prep Spin. All right, back on Prep Spin. We are ready with our Mingy Beef Jerky Game of the Week Doubleheader Edition. Fourth quarter action, Fern Creek over Henry Clay, 14 to 10. And they had one nice run there to end that third quarter. Henry Clay's, uh, they look like they're in a cover two now with two safeties. Now they're rolling up. The one safety rolls up to the, to the slot side of the field. So it looks like they're trying to counteract oh, nice. that run, and, and that worked. That worked. Nice defense there. Number 28 on the tackle for Henry Clay. That was, uh, oh, I'm sorry, that was number 29. That was Dabney. Dabney did a nice yeah. job on that. Again, I don't know whether he's coming from the backside to make that tackle. It looked like he did. So they're reading what they're doing offensively and making a, a good plays. This is, it's time for Ferns Creek, if they have it in their offense, go back to a screen mm -hmm. to cut down that pressure or Run a little play action stuff. Maybe, ex yeah, expand that offense out just a little bit. So here's trainer lining up. He's got Fuller with him, and, and look, look down on the near side here. Looking for the run. No, he's going to hang on to himself, nice and he job. is met. 29. Yep. Again. Number 29, Dabney on the tackle again for the Blue Devils, and, and he's uh, – making an impact early here in this fourth quarter. Well, they're testing him, and he's, he's passing the test. I'll tell you, he's up there right now making tackles. That was a big play. So yeah. now it really puts him behind the chains. You got to wonder, Coach, if uh, if he was challenged, you know, by his team or by by the coaching staff to, you know, step up. This is an, a good opportunity. We're going to try this, and let's see if it works. I think that, I think so, and I think he's, come, he's uh, met the task right now. Two big tackles, both judging, uh, both or not judging, but both uh, resulting in a loss. Here's Trainer now. Trainer getting met. No, he's able to escape, and that one's going to be thrown yeah, away. That's smart. Thrown away. So didn't want to take any more there. No. No, couldn't afford to take it. Uh, and we got a flag though. Roughing the, pa roughing the passer against the offense? Wait, what? What? Or is that an, or they call intentional grounding? 
No, here we go. There's an intentional grounding. Yeah, okay. He did a different signal there. Yeah, wrong, wrong signal. <laughs> okay, well, we'll, uh, I, I we'll don't, roll with it. <laughs> I don't agree with that. I think that I think that they they should excuse that when a, when a, when a quarterback's scrambling and he's outside the tackle box, he's out there. I think he should be allowed to throw it away just to because prevent some of those injuries that can happen. Right, right. Nonetheless, that brings it to a fourth and 15 and a punting situation here. Oh. This is a good uh, a good chance for Henry Clay to get good field position. They're known for, at least in the past, for their punt returns, too. There's a nice punt, fair catch called. And they're going to be starting about the 27-yard line. It's a pretty good job. Good fair catch, too. That's very difficult to do, by the way. Oh, fair it is. Catch, fair catch. Oh, oh, it is. Oh, People out there, when you're watching these kids do that, high school kids, they call for that fair catch. They can hear. They can hear breathing. They can hear grunting. They can hear <laughs> names called at them. They, uh, uh, stomping your feet so close to you. Uh -huh. And you have to concentrate to catch that ball. I wouldn't do it. I tell you, that's, that's, <laughs> that's a hard job. It's one of those moments of, oh, no, oh, no, oh, okay, yeah. you know. <laughs> no, no, that's, yeah, you're right. But you can't, you know, you can't be that way. You just got to call it, look it in, and catch it. Uh-huh. In the back of their mind, though, you, you know, they got to be thinking, what if? Uh, All right, here we go. So, Henry Clay with an opportunity, 10.04 remaining in this final period of action here at Lexington Catholic. There's a nice swing pass out to Bailey. Bailey with the moves and able to get close to that first down marker. Yeah, it is close. Number 33, uh, get his name for Fern Creek. He, just a really vicious tackle on that the outside. Was, that was Joel Hatchett. He's the senior. Big kid. So, so second what? It's going to be second and three. I thought he was closer than that personally, but. He must have stepped out. He, po he possibly did. So, nonetheless, they did they did get some good yardage on it. Here's Van Horn and moves up to Bailey. Bailey on the outside, avoiding one tackle, but taken down by the other. That was number eight. That was Al Holden, or A.J. Holden, sorry, on the tackle. Seems to me they've had a Van Horn at Henry Clay, either a quarterback or whatever, for years. So must, they, they have. Must be a big family. So third and what looks to be inches. They're really spreading the field now. They have three big wideouts way out there. Let's see if he empties the backfield again. No, he's going to keep him in there to block. And we got a flag, though. That wouldn't have worked. Yep. Yeah. That's what, what we call a quick screen. It's uh, where, where you teach the quarterback to grip and rip. That means uh -huh. as soon as the ball hits hand, his hands, throw it. Don't look for the seams on the ball. Don't look for the strings. Just throw it. Just go. And that that's going to be a false start. So Henry Clay dropped back five yards, third and six now. So Fern Creek might be breathing just a touch, just a touch easier. They balance the formation now. They have two wideouts on each side. Mm -hmm. Now the handoff moving up to. No. That was to Hayden uh, Van Horn. So there's another Van Horn there. He's a freshman. Okay. That is a big <laughs> family then. They keep them coming. <laughs> Uh, that, that, the, the ball game got a little chippy for a while, but I think you're right. I think the, the probably the coaches and the officials got together and said, look, guys, you know, this is early in the season. Let's just go ahead and, and play football. Cut out this nonsense. So back to punt. Bichette. Oh, oh no. nope. Check that. That wasn't Rochette. That was number 10. Pun it, buddy. Yeah, Pun that, it. Don't that was, it. Don't that, it. No, that's Van Horn with it. Van Horn taken down, and I don't know what the intent was there, but Van Horn taken down and wow. way back. No, I didn't see the play, but you said early in the game they, they lost a fumble or something back inside the red zone too? 
Henry Clay? Yes, they did. Um, yeah, it was uh, one of the first runs that they had of that of that drive, and and uh, they lost the fumble. So again, an, another opportunity here for Fern Creek within the red zone. Yeah. Starting a drive within the red zone is huge. Yeah, they it, that, that would be the second time they scored on the first one, the, the first turnover, didn't they? They did. Yes. So you gotta wonder. You gotta wonder if. Well, I was gonna say if Stoner would be the target, but I don't see him up there. The time had, out. had time out, and that was Dalton with him back there. So they're gonna take a time out. We're gonna get our voice back. You are watching the Mingy Beef Jerky High School Game of the Week Doubleheader Edition here from Lexington Catholic. 